Hey everybody, I've got a really exciting video for you today. I'm going to take another look at Z AppLink. Z AppLink is not just for Photoshop. I can also use GIMP. GIMP is freeware. Anybody in the world can use it free of charge. So Photoshop, you know, costs too much and you can't use it. You can always use GIMP. Um, totally free for anything. You can sell things, you can do whatever you want to. Okay. So let's control D a few times. Wait. Lightbox Dynamesh 16. Okay, I like that. Control D a few times to give it some polygons so we can paint, you know, pretty textures on it. Uh, 749, let's do one more. 2 million. That's good. Okay, F to frame. Zoom out. And then let's go to document Z app link. Enable polygon colorize. Okay, uh, set target app. Select a new Photoshop compatible external editor. Find the EXE you want to use. Okay, oh, let's see, I'm there already. Let's go to my computer. C, program files, where's that? Oh, right there. And then GIMP2. Bin, GIMP 2.8. Nice. Switching external editor to C program files. Gimp to Bing Imp. Bing Imp. Okay. 2.8. Click. Okay. Now I'm going to going to use uh, double sided and fade for this, which is pretty cool. I haven't played with fade too much recently, and double sided is really wicked because whatever really nifty image image you can generate on this side it produces the same image on the other side you know so you don't have to z-app link as many times cool okay drop now switching GIMP startup GIMP is kind of like Photoshop it's got lots of tools pretty exciting and when you load it up here is your layers it's just like Photoshop it's got the three layers that imports uh, the first one is fill Z shading do not edit Second one is layer one with the mask of your object, in this case a sphere. And then third one is Z shading, do not edit. So don't edit the top or the bottom. And right now you'll notice that if we start painting on it, okay, I want some bristles, I want the size to be bigger, and then I want some color on it. Okay, nice red. Then paint, you're not getting any colors because right now you are painting on the mask. So if we paint more, you'll see the mask update, more, update, that's no good. At least for this example. Control Z a few times till we're back to nothing being painted. Then click this, this portion of the layer. That is the color zone. So now we can paint color information on our object. Pretty exciting. Now this is just part, uh, this pink thing is just part of this top layer. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it doesn't have any effect on your stuff. So let's change the color. And okay, this is nice, but I want it to be really cool. So let's, something that I couldn't usually do in Photoshop too well. So let's choose one of these patterns, click and drag right over the top. Wicked! Totally sweet. Okay, now how do we save this and load this up into ZBrush? File, not save, not save as, not save a copy, not revert. I believe that reverts back to what you had originally with nothing on it. And uh, just go to overwrite temp zapp link export dot psd. Click. Saved. Then minimize. Okay, Z app link. Okay, unchanged. You can, if this was Photoshop or we were just in Photoshop, that's all you need to do. Okay, unchanged, and then your picture would show up right here. But this is GIMP and it's a little bit different, so click recheck, and then it's gonna be like, uh, okay, yeah, and then, then it will recognize that there is stuff on the canvas that was in Z, uh, GIMP, and then it'll say, or come up th with this new dialog box, and then re-enter ZBrush. 
Wicked! Okay, so on this we chose double sided and fade at the same time. What is fade? Let's take a look. Pick up now. Okay, projection master pickup sequence completed. You may now re enter, reorient. Okay, right on. So it, it came back to ZBrush, and you'll notice that the sides look strange because it's got that fade. Pretty sweet. Wicked. Yep, that was a nice look at using GIMP Z App Link instead of Photoshop in ZBrush 4R7. Totally free, and anyone can download it and make wicked cool things like this. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you like these videos, please subscribe and stay tuned for more because I love making all sorts of videos and I could make, am going to make millions and millions of uh, videos with all the stuff that I can teach. Thanks for watching, everybody.